Hi guys, it's JQ Crafty bringing you a process video today um, for 30 Days of Sketches, but also for Redefine Creative. Now, I'm going to use the sketch from today, but we're going to do a little technique in the background to give um, the edge some really nice interest. And I'm basing it off of um, a video that Christina did. Now, question, did you know that Christina the creator owner of Redefine Creative does a live video every day. She does every day and every month is a different theme. So this month she's actually doing the 30 days of sketches live on her channel. But the fun thing about it is if she's doing 30 days of sketches or like um, February was old meets, old, blah, blah, old meets new, it's not only just that. There's always tips, techniques, ideas, just a layout, a sketch, something that she shares with you that it's like, oh, that's brilliant. And oh, that's a great idea. So it's not only just her scrapbooking and making layouts. She always has something to teach you as well, which is amazing. So I'm actually going to combine it with um, a layout she did in January. And so January is all about um, fun techniques. And so it was from January 20th is the video where she went back and they were teasing during the video. Um, she went back to kindergarten and we um, are going to be stamping with objects found or in this case string around uh, an acrylic block. I was playing around with it to see um, how I wanted my string. Now mine I have like a braided um twine that's kind of thick so mine doesn't turn out the way hers did but I like the effect mine gets so we're gonna do that so we're gonna do that today we're going to scrapbook um we got paint everywhere these two photos my son making snowmen very dirty leaf snowman with um his cousin and then another thing I did oh and I'm gonna use um studio tecturic it's a uh is it a Swedish company uh, is that technically what it is? I can't remember. Polish, Polish, Polish. Um, for sure. But uh, we're gonna use their collection. And I actually, so I had gotten a bunch of this and this random doodle bug design paper was in here. So I'm actually gonna use this as my background, I think. Um, but I also used a cut file that's free at Redefine Creative and to cut out all these snowflakes. So I'm going to do snowflakes instead of hexagons around my border for my layout. And this was a free cut file. It's called Sledding Fun. So there were tons of different size snowflakes. There were some words with some snowflakes in them. Um, tons of different ideas and options. And it's free. So make sure you go head over to Redefine Creative. I will leave a link down below um, and check that out. And I'll leave the link to the Facebook page as well because you want to be able to go see Christina do her live videos every day. So we've got some things to do. So let's let's get started. So here I am just taking some um, pale blue acrylic ink or acrylic ink, acrylic paint and just dabbing my strings into it, kind of dabbing some excess off on my glass mat and then just changing direction as I go all the way around the border. And it just gives to me at the end, because it ends up being a winter layout, it gives a very like wind blown, snow blown look. But um, if you didn't have, so if you use just regular twine, it will give more of a straight kind of distressed line look, whereas mine's kind of a flat distress line mine's a little messier I feel like than what but then you could do it in all different kinds of textures and yeah it would be lots of fun so I'm gonna go all the way around and do I keep that all in for you maybe just because it doesn't take that long and then I add some kind of sticking out because the sketch the way they have the hexagons you know, kind of, it's not just perfectly symmetrical all the way around. It kind of protrudes here and there. Um, and yeah, so, and there's not a lot of white space in between that and the photos. So there you go. There you have it. So I am going to arrange now all of those snowflakes and I do it. And while I'm doing it, I'm like, I feel like when I did this on the, so what I did on the silhouette is I put all the snowflakes I wanted on there and kind of arranged it how I wanted them. So I knew how many I needed to cut out. And so then as I'm arranging them on the paper, I'm like, I feel like I had some bigger ones. Well, it turns out there's two sitting. Can you, can you see them in the video? I can't tell. Um, my screen's so tiny. 
But it turns out there's two medium ones sitting just to the right, and I didn't even see them because they kind of blend in. But um, this, yes, it. oh, I did confirm, too. It is a Polish company. Warclaw is where they're out of. Um, Roklaw, Poland. And um, their um, name, Studio Tekturik, means hey in Polish. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, just some papers I picked up, I think, actually from Paper Issues. I haven't seen them really anywhere else. I do follow them on Instagram now, and they're a fun company. They have definitely very interesting um, patterns and textures. But this was actually part of their winter collection, is this corals and these blues, and I love it. And it works out well that my son has um, some blaze orange uh, winter wear. So to me, it coordinates quite well with a lot of its stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do that. And then I snapped my fingers. I did some magical editing there. I loved it. It was fun. My son thought it was great. And then I thought, okay, I need a little bit more. It needs a little bit more. It looks kind of washed out a little bit. So I took some Shimmer's Mango Tango vibes and I sprinkled that around. I'm going to do that with my paintbrush now because the nozzle itself was just not doing it for me. And I'm going to do that and then we'll get to doing the photo here in a second. But so my whole point was make sure you go and check out um, Christina's videos because seriously, she does some amazing things and she has tons and tons of tips all the time. So there I'm showing you like I actually tried to cut my snowflakes out of just this orange paper, but their paper is so thick. It's so thick. And then I did the mistake of where like I took it off because I thought it was done. And then it, you can never realign it if you take the cutting mat out of your silhouette. You can never get it to line back up perfectly. It never works. So I switched to the plaid paper that I ended up cutting them. I had ended up having to put my blade at a depth of eight for patterned paper. I don't think I've ever had to cut at a depth of eight. Usually I can get it at a four at most like a really thick cardstock, a five. But yeah, so I had to put it up to an eight and I had to cut it twice and I had to increase my force, which was crazy. So they've got some thick paper. <laughs> So it kind of just, the funny thing is though, so it kind of destroyed this peachy orange side of this pattern paper, but the other side that is a black chevron doesn't even look like anything was cut through. So I was like, well, I could salvage it and just use that black chevron side for something else. But I really liked the pop of the orange and to bring more of that orange and coral in. So I, I was like, and if it gives it a distress look, it gives it a distress look because it's all like partially cut up. So whatever. Um, so I matted my photos and I started kind of going through the papers, trying to figure out if there's anything else I want, but I'm like, you know, the way my background's looking, there's plenty going on. I don't need more. And the sketch doesn't really have more either. And I, I can see why, because if you'd put pattern paper or hexagons all the way around, unless you did like a monochromatic, and even if you did, that's a lot of design kind of already surrounding everything. So I just lined up my um, photos. Yeah, here's me looking through the papers because there's a lot of cool cut aparts on the back of some of them. Um, just trying to see if I want to use any of them. Decide, nope, I don't need it. I'm just going to line my photos up. The two random snowflakes that I found, I'm going to layer in um, kind of the top and then down in the bottom just to kind of fill out some of the spots. And then I'm going to use two of their little tile alphas um, and make a title that says, do you want to build a snowman? And then I will document um, underneath that. It was uh, Thanksgiving in 2019, actually. And then... So I'm going to do that. And then I'm noticing, you know, things seem to be blending in a little bit. Um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but things seem to be blending in a little bit. And I don't, you, you can't like from right here, you can't really tell that they're snowflakes. It just kind of looks like there's some blobs of plaid, right? It's, it's very, very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead, put my title down really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of those um, clear, is it called effervescence um, from Spiegel Mom Scraps? They're like a sequence, but they're like a globed glass thing. Oh, so I'm going to sprinkle some of those around as well, just to give a little more texture throughout the border. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a random blue pen that I have um, on my desk. I'm Well, I'm going to try out a a felt pen that's like more tealy first and I'm like me but then I'm gonna use this other blue pen and I'm gonna start outlining some of my snowflakes and I did that and I liked the way it looked and so I was like okay good a couple of them are highlighted great you know we'll we'll leave it at that and I apologize I'm way ahead of myself 
but it's just because I'm like, you know what I'm doing. So I outline a few. I take the close-ups and then I took the whole shot of the layout and I looked at it and I'm like, you can't tell the rest are snowflakes. You can't. And I was worried that outlining all of them would be a bit much, but I don't think so. So I went back, outlined every single um, snowflake. Oh my gosh, I'm noticing I missed two. See, they blend in so well. So there are two I missed in the final shots, apparently. Um, but I outlined every single snowflake. And I like the result so much better. You can actually see them. So close-ups to come, full shot after that. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, make sure you check out Redefine Creative if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, give this video a good thumbs up if you really liked it. And leave comments below. I love them. All right, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.